everyone, my name is Jade and I'm a third year PhD sociology student and this video is about neoliberalism and neoliberal governmentality. Neoliberalism represents state efforts to reassert a free market capitalist economy characterized by private property, freedom of exchange, and the growth of business interests. Driven by the unfettered production of capital, neoliberalism promotes the reduction of state-sanctioned programs while strengthening initiatives in support of competitive marketization and private profit making. One way it does this is by implementing privatization wherever possible, turning services that were formerly offered by the government, such as healthcare, education, and family care, into commodities to be bought and sold on the market. Consequentially, people are then expected to pay for these services themselves, which then relieves the state of its responsibility to provide protection and resources to its citizens, vis-a-vis -vis funded healthcare, child and family care, and education. This supports neoliberalism because it allows the state to increase its profit margins as these funds are now no longer going to citizens. As the burden of social welfare is taken off the state and placed on individual citizens, more and more people are made to believe that they are mostly, if not solely, responsible for their own happiness and well-being. In contemporary Western neoliberal societies like Canada and America, widespread acceptance of this belief is commonly established through what scholars refer to as neoliberal governmentality. Derived from the work of French philosopher Michel Foucault, the concept of governmentality refers to those forms of governmental reason that exhort people to act in line with the dominant interests of their society. To this end, different modes of governmentality implement their own hegemonic codes of conduct to determine individual behavior. These codes constitute what Foucault calls technologies of power, and they function to align how people see themselves with the dominant interests, beliefs, and ideologies of a certain social order. Beyond neoliberal governmentality, another example of a technology of power would be something like heteronormativity, which functions to align how people understand their sexuality and also to a lesser extent their gender with white heteropatriarchy. So building on Foucault's work, scholars have coined the term neoliberal governmentality to signal the ways in which people interpret, understand, and regulate their bodies in relation to neoliberal regimes denoting in particular the technologies of power by which neoliberal rationality is imposed onto individual consciousness. Like any mode of governance, neoliberalism entails its own form of political rationality, which, as defined by Nicholas Rose, is a type of intellectual machinery or apparatus for rendering reality thinkable in such a way that it is amenable to political programming. In the context of neoliberalism, this apparatus consists of a system of beliefs that align the order and rule of state, society, and market with the broader economic and political goals of free market capitalism, which are all governed by the desire to produce as much capital as possible. These beliefs then produce or produce new cultural practices that promote forms of self-governance and self-discipline that ultimately function to maintain neoliberalism's political rule such as getting people to believe that they need to be constantly working and producing to be good citizens or that they are solely responsible for taking care of themselves and their family, as these types of beliefs lessen the burden of social welfare in regard to the state. In short, neoliberal governmentality supports neoliberalism, which is an economic system forged around free market capitalism, by getting people to adopt a political rationality that stimulates ideologies, norms, and values that work together to ensure the success of neoliberalism. So that's my video on neoliberalism and neoliberal governmentality. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see similar videos, please subscribe to my channel. See you later!